Hi everybody, this is Matt McCoy from Loop Community. Today I'm going to show you how to transpose a loop. We have a lot of people ask us, how do we change the key of a loop that we download? Well, it's really easy if you have Ableton. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to go and um, drag in my song that I have here. So in my left hand side of the Ableton window, I have my file browser. And I've got these two tracks, I've got a cue track and a loop track. So we're going to drag the cues in here, and the stereo loop here. This is our God, so let's go ahead and right click and rename this first scene to our God. And we're also going to set the BPM. Now, it's important that we set this to the original tempo. And I know what the original tempo is because in the file name it says. So it says our God in the key of B, 105. So I'm going to right click and go to Edit Launch Tempo and change this to 105. So now we're going to go ahead and hit play. Intro two, and we can three, hear that it's in time. Four. Now a lot of times people think, well, okay, if I want to transpose, I can just turn this knob down here that says transpose. Now let's go and try that. You'll notice though that it's out of time now. So before we do this, we want to make sure we use a feature in Ableton called warping. Warping is really powerful, and uh, basically what it allows you to do is time stretch the audio, speed it up, slow it down, change the pitch, you know, high or low, with it maintaining its quality and timing. So what we're going to do is we're going to warp this. So I'm going to double click on the loop file here, and there's a button here that says warp. Now it's very important that before you hit this button, you have the original tempo set up here in the tempo box in the left hand side of the screen because this is the tempo that it's going to warp it at. So I know the original is 105. So 105 is over here, which is good. And I'm going to hit warp. And I can see that it warped it. And this little box here that says segment BPM, this actually shows you what the original tempo is. So it says 105, so we're in good shape. If that said 120 or something, we'd be in trouble. So it's good that it says 105. Now that it's warped, Intro, two, three, we're going to hit play. Four. I can actually transpose by turning this knob. It goes up half steps. And as you can see, it, you can kind of hear it gets a little choppy. But that's because we're using the warping mode called beats. This would work really good if this track had just drum beats in it, but it doesn't. It's got a lot in it. It has pads. It has piano, so I'm going to change it to complex. And do you, do you hear how it smooths it out? So now I can transpose it. We'll go Three, down. Two, three, four. So if you use warping correctly, you can transpose all of your loops into whatever key you need, which is very, very helpful. So hope that uh, gets you going. We're glad you're part of the community.